Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to Hellblade. Hopefully you're doing well and you're enjoying this series. Uh, and if you're joining us on this episode, you might want to start at the beginning. Because things have been juicy, things have been spicy. The This game is really, really captivating me. The story, the amount of detail to go into, the realism of potential, uh, like the mental issues side, I think the psychosis. Uh, I have done a bit of research since um, the end of last episode, because uh, we are recording on a brand new day. And to learn how near enough on point they have uh, portrayed kind of them illnesses um, and the scenarios is is pretty insane. I, I had a look at some like lectures and I looked at some like uh, some studies and all this kind of stuff and like it 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 was a it was a read. It was a wild ride for sure. But we are continuing with Senwa's little journey here and we have just recently done the trials. So we are now going to be heading into the tree uh, to continue our little adventure. Dillian gave her the strength to pass the warrior trials and she saw a way out to leave her past behind and become a warrior in Dillian's class. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. No. You left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. Uh -oh. But years later, with Zinbal's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. Plague. Dillian? Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. No. Dillian. Do you see it clearly now, Senua? The suffering you've caused. This is your fault. <laughs> you brought this plague to us! <laughs> You have blood on your hands! They're coming for you now. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, God. Hold your heavy strike. Hold it. Hold the heavy strike. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Unleash the sword. We're starting off with some combat. Oh, okay. So the block instantly brings into reality. Oh my god. The corpse waved through itself over the ones I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed minds. So, I do have my theories, and we're going to talk about it in a little bit, about what could be going on. Do you hear the suffering, Senor? That voice, does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? 
Do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward, because you ran from your curse instead of facing it. When you turned your back on the Father Zimbel, you turned your back on the gods and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy? Okay, that was clean. Okay. She too had a sight. She too doubted the gods and let the darkness infest her. But she didn't run. So my assumption is I think Senwa is Helia. The gods. I think she's Helia. If only you had done the same. And it's it's her that's the done all this. Have been spared this horror. It's not too late. She's calling for you. Why don't you join her? Finish 
stronger than you. They're throwing everything at me right now. What am I aiming at right now? Oh, there's guys around here. Bloody hell, man. 
That was just constant fighting over and over and over again. Where am I heading now, though? Up here. She gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother, to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her. So yeah, I want you. Look at me. Calling for me. We've lost so many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said it. I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Zimba was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in me, Senua? In us? Come back to me. Please. Don't let this darkness come between us. sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help, a little hope. Damn. Okay. So we're back here again. But the way I see, because there's so much story to this game, right? There's so much you need to know. I think I feel like before playing it, there's you need to definitely know like the Nordic and Celtic uh, kind of thing. You need to kind of know a little bit of knowledge on that. And uh, yeah, th this is one of them games you definitely have to play. I think twice, maybe a third time to understand some things you might have missed or what you might learn something in the later game that go oh that makes sense once you play it again when you work your way back through it um, and it does feel like that is something I might need to do Oh my God. 
Because there's probably some of you guys now that have played this before or watched this before or even played it recently. And you're now understanding the story a bit more as well compared to the first time. But I do believe We're back. she might be Hellier. And the only reason I say that is because we've, uh, when we attacked that thing before and we slashed it in its face and she got a big slash down her face. So I feel like when she damages Helia, she's going to get damaged herself. We were worried. We're here to help you. You need us. So worried. Silence is lonely. We didn't know where you'd come. We're here to help you. I think she's brought all of these and she's done everything. Trust us. For all we know right now, we could be playing in her imagination. The world around us is it's like, what I mean by that is uh, we could be playing in the imagination of her, but what we're fighting against and what we're doing is people in the real world, kind of, if that kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? Up here. On, look up. This is the door we saw earlier and we never investigated it. We just kind of followed where, uh, what's he called was. Does she know which way to look? Does she know her way into the mountain? Into Mordor? I'm, I'm, I'm going up. Did you miss us? Oh, she did. She did. I'm glad we're back. There's a door. You can do it. You can see it. Come on, Simon. Go away. I'm not listening. tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Sigmund. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. Oh. Dragon of the mountain. Uh oh. Don't go in. Don't go back. What's it like? A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name, and it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. Garm. What are you afraid of, Senua? How will you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. We gotta stay in the light. say right that's why I went right that is f some freaky freaky shit 
crazy thing, it knocks her off balance as well. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. The question is, is do I go for that light over there? Only one way to find out. Your father wants them to go away, and he only hurts me to silence them. So he's gone now. But they always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. No, no they want me with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? Oh, God. She took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? Oh crap, the torch is going to burn out. Okay. So okay, so we have to reach these areas. Oh. Okay, can I can I replenish the torch here before? So that's chained. Big ass room there. This is the gate.
without your light. Take the torch and move. Yeah, I've got to get it from an angle. She's lighting the torch. It's not going to help her. She's lighting the torch. Why did you say it? Darkness. Do you think you can keep away from the shadow? She's right. You're wrong. The light's burning. You're safe. There we go. She has it. She did it. She's done it. Well done. This place. It reminds her of the isolating, suffocating darkness. One more through as a young girl. Imprisoned in her room at night. The faces in the dark coming through the walls. She once thought everyone could see them. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her. Where am I going? I'm gonna go from that side. So okay, I've been in there. Can't go that way. Come from there. We did that right path. We we can't open this gate from here. There's something we're missing. There's a passage we're missing. Now let's just double check there's nothing down here. To the right. Oh, there is a lantern. Which I missed. I don't think that matters anyway. That just does this room. It might be that first turn I did. And there might be another passage. It's the only thing I can think of. Unless it's back outside. Oh no, down maybe. Because we went up last time, didn't we? Don't put it in the water. So it's going to go out, but we have to head to that bloody light thing over there. I'm trying. Okay, now back in there and light up these ways. Ah, 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 ah,
You know this? Look. Use your eyes. Yeah. Look. I needed to light that torch, that's why. She escaped the darkness, but she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Well, the question is, are we going to fight that demon? Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. Damn. Well, time to dig more into the bloody mines and try and get the head back. All right. <laughs> 